prison sentence for a former funeral director, Stephen Kesmarski III, was ordered to spend up to eight years in prison. Ross Gadotti is live with details on the punishment for a man who stole from more than 100 people. Ross. Yeah, Kazmarski pleaded guilty to swindling almost a half a million dollars from many people over the age of 60. Today, of course, the sentence was read out, and many of the folks that he allegedly took advantage of are not happy about it. After Stephen E. Kazmarski was sentenced to up to eight years behind bars, his victims' reactions to that sentencing ranged from shock to outrage. It was a slap in the face. Why do you say that? Because the man's a thief. He stole our money. Probably should have been maybe more. The 52 year old disgraced Uniontown funeral director pleaded guilty to bilking more than half a million dollars in prepaid funeral arrangements from roughly 140 individuals. When he took the stand today, speaking to the victims, he said that he wasn't a bad man, just a bad businessman. He's scum, plain and simple. He preyed on old people. Diana McDowell says Kazmarski sold her parents a prepaid funeral plan. But when her father died and the money was gone, all that Kazmarski could provide was excuses. My husband passed away. I had another funeral to pay for, and I don't really have that kind of money. About a dozen of Kazmarski's friends and family members spoke in his defense, saying he was really, in the end, a pretty nice guy who simply made bad business errors. Bay County's District Attorney Rich Bauer, however, says Kazmarski misappropriated the money to build his business and cover personal expenses. He's a thief. That's what he's done. He admitted he's a thief. He's not the great guy that everyone was professing. Kazmarski supporters and family members filed quietly past the media today, but his defense attorney says that the sentencing, as upsetting as it is for some, is appropriate. It's, it's been difficult, so uh, I'm glad it's over. I think everyone is. Kazmarski right now could be free on good behavior within 40 months. Richard Bauer, district attorney for Fayette County, however, told us that he plans on appealing this sentence, which is pretty rare because he believes it was profoundly inadequate and relaxed. Reporting live in Uniontown, Ross Gadotti, KDKA News.